टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ वेरी इम्पॉर्टंट न्यू कन्सेप्ट वाय केमिस्ट्री वाय केमिस्ट्री इज रिलेटेड टू वाय यू हैव टू चूज केमिस्ट्री एज अ सब्जेक्ट ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग एट द अंडर ग्रैजुएट लेवल और पोस्ट ग्रैजुएट लेवल और एट द रिसर्च लेवल वेन एवर यू आर स्टडिंग बेसिक साइंसेस केमिस्ट्री इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट केमिस्ट्री हियर सी स्टैंड फॉर द सेंटर ऑफ साइंस इट्स अ सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द सेंटर ऑफ द साइंस वाई बिकॉज लेट्स रिलेट टूडे द केमिस्ट्री विद सम बेसिक कंसेप्ट दैट इज द हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी और आई एम गोइंग टू थ्रो लाइट ऑन द हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग कंसेप्ट एंड इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंस इन द केमिकल साइंसेस and variety of the aspects of the natural sciences biological sciences life sciences molecular biology the water chemistry are related to the the basic concepts of chemistry so chemistry with the basic subject with the basic concepts have variety of the applications in variety of the scientific fields laboratories analysis and research so let's go towards this look here what is this it is a ice it is a solid form of the water it is a solid phase of the water so at 0 degree celsius water get converts to solid form that is ice in that hydrogen bonds are present here we see the loop like structure and the strands are there the structure is similar to the dna d ribonucleic acid that is present as a genetic material in the cells as in the center and that also contains the hydrogen bonding water in the ice form contain hydrogen bonding the dna structure in the cells at the nucleus also contains the hydrogen bonding between the nucleosidic and nucleotidic base bases and base pairs so i will clear this concept basic chemistry concept and what are the applications so hydrogen bonding it's a polar bond so why it is a polar bond the delta plus charge is present over the hydrogen delta negative charge is present over the oxygen so whenever hydrogen is attached to electronegative atoms like oxygen nitrogen sulfur it becomes the polar bond nh sh ph or oh bonds that are the polar bonds so look here the water example the solid form in the ice water get hydrogen bonded with the different molecules and uh, water gets ice structure stable structure so hydrogen bonding is responsible for the stability next in the molecular biology if we study the 3 dash 4 dash and 5 dash 3 dash strands of the base pairs of the dna which has the loops and loops have the distance uh, that is strand have the distance of 34 angstrom so each base pair contains 3.4 angstrom distance and in that hydrogen bonds are present per loop 10 hydrogen bonds are present between adenine thiamine guanine and cytosine like this two and three hydrogen bonds are there so this structure stability of the dna its uh, replication uh, with the rna concept dna to rna and conversion to proteins that can be well explained with the hydrogen bonding next biochemistry and protein and genetics concepts so proteins have the peptide bonds nh co ch bonds and that are attached to the different primary secondary tertiary and quaternary structures of the proteins so protein stability structures can be explained with this hydrogen bonding so folding defolding properties of the proteins can also be correlated with the hydrogen bonding means if we know the basic chemistry we can elaborate the different scientific concepts so the knowledge of the molecular uh, properties that is chemistry here in these concepts hydrogen bonding concept is very very important to study different scientific branches so chemistry is at the molecular level so it is a center of the scientific concepts so that's why why chemistry we can elaborate with this model and with this explanation so that is the importance of chemistry and uh, really you will know why chemistry